All right, Caleb, what game are we playing today? We are playing Karuba. Karuba? And do you like Karuba? I do. Why? Just because it's kind of luck of the draw, but some strategy involved. Yeah? Yeah. Well, what are you doing in Karuba? In Karuba, you are trying to get your little people to yeah. their color temple. Okay, nice. Well, it looks like a giant. It is a giant <laughs> compared to the temple. Well, cool. All right, so you get them to you get the matching one to the to the temple, and then you get points, right? Yeah. What kind of points? Uh, these are all worth points in the center. These are gems worth one. These are gems worth two. Okay. And these are worth whatever number is on them. Okay. Nice. And it looks like everybody's got their own board. Yes. So they're doing their own exploration. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you explain how you do it? All right. So to begin the game. Everyone has their people and their temples. Okay. And one person chooses where a person goes and where their temple goes. And then another person goes. The temple always goes in the grassy area and the person always starts on the beach. Okay. So Simple enough. So it started like this. So these people also put their people and their temples in the same spot. Okay, so everybody starts... With the exact, with the same, exact same layout. So, every player has their own player map. Yeah. And their own tiles. Okay. They can organize them as they like. This person laid them out in neat little rows. That person just has a pile. That has piles as well. Okay, so everybody's got their own tiles and different colored backs. Yes, so you know what. Okay, makes it easy to separate. Yes. Okay, and then what do you do? One person has all the tiles face down, and they randomly draw a tile, and they flip it over and say four, because that's the number in the top. Okay. So this one has a white gem on it, so you would place a white gem on it. Okay. You cannot orient it, because the, the four has to be in the top left. So I would... And you can place it wherever you want to. So everybody, while you're placing that, is grabbing their four, mm -hmm. putting a gem on it, and placing it as well. Yes. And that's where the cool part comes in, is everybody's putting them in different places on their mat. Yes. All right, so it looks like everybody's board is shaping up a little bit differently. Yes. All right, what do you want to show us now? So this is how to move. Okay. If I drew a tile. This one's number six, and it has three. I say, mm, this doesn't really work out for me. So I'll discard it, and I can move it up to three. So I, this is the guy I want to move. I could move him there or there. But I'm gonna move him there and get this gem, and now I own that gem. Okay, so if it's just on your map, it doesn't mean anything until you get there. All right, so it looks like we've even got more been built out, yep. but yours, you've been moving blue like crazy. Yes. All right, so tell me about getting to a temple. So if I draw a tile like 17, then I would say I'll discard it. I move this guy off the map right next to his temple. So he made it. He made it. And I was the very first one, so I take this. You take the five of blue because you got there first. Yes. Nice, and uh, the other blues aren't quite close yet. No. Some haven't even started out. Yeah. You cruised yours, but they've started their yellows and purples, which you haven't yet. So yes. it's quite the balance. What if two people get to a temple at the same time? Then, let's say if someone, if he somehow got his blue there, then I would take the five, and he would take the four, and one of these. So, so you it both is get, equal to five. You both get the five points. But then the person yes. that comes in third, is going to be getting those. And you yes. use different uh, relics there based off of how many players are in the game, right? Yes. Okay, so when does the game end? The game ends when either one person has reached all their temples or when we run out of tiles. Oh, okay. And you can't place everything because you're going to be discarding along the way, so yes. it's quite tricky of when to play and when to discard, huh? Mm -hmm. And then how do you know who wins? Whoever has the most points at the end. Okay, based on the gems collected and the relics that they've got, yes. or the treasures that they've got. Yes. Sweet. Well, what would you rate 
Garuba. I would rate it a 4.1. And why? Because there's some luck involved, but it's mostly strategy. Yeah. You think it's a good family game? Yes. Fun stuff. All right. Thanks, Caleb. Mm-hmm.